Hey, what's going on my fellow reefers, Fragbox TV. I realized I got really excited about setting up the very expensive nano reef tank that we're doing here in the store. And I forgot to comment and talk about the cycle. So it's a little bit late for the video, but this was the first time I went ahead and followed the directions to a T on this product right here, which is Dr. Tim's one and only, which is basically denitrifying bacteria, live nitrifying bacteria. This is how um, you can start a reef tank safely to take your dry rock, which we started with, and turn it into live rock. So you go from um, dry rock, which has no bacteria, into live rock so that you can process fish waste. So I was a little bit skeptical because if you follow the bottle, it says that you can cycle a tank in under a week or maybe, sorry, nine days. So we went ahead, added this uh, as per the directions along with ammonia chloride. And then we added our little fishy friend here, which you guys can help us name if you would please. Where did he go? Oh my goodness. This fish better still be in here. Otherwise, oh, there he is hiding. I got a little nervous. This uh, video would have been pointless. But we added this nice little Ocellaris clownfish. And, oh, this tank needs to be topped off. That's why it's full of bubbles. But he lived. It's been, I think, six weeks now. We even have some coral going in the tank. And the, tight, the tank did cycle exactly as they advertised. Nine to ten days, we saw the ammonia come up and down. We had detectable nitrate levels. And we added a fish, and he's alive and healthy. So it actually did work as advertised. Shout out to Dr. Tim's very popular product it goes against my conventional reefing wisdom so i've been doing this for quite some time now so a lot of the ideas that i have i don't even know where they came from They've, i've just had them forever um, is that a tank takes four weeks to cycle and that you should really take your time and don't add fish that quickly but i tried something different and obviously it worked just like on this tank here this is the first time i'm using leds on a display tank oh crap Look at this A can here, flipped over, sidetrack of the day. First time that I'm not using T5s on a, um, on a reef tank because I'm old school and I really like T5s, but it came out really nice and I'm very impressed and happy with the Hydra 32s. That's it for today's video, super quick. Just wanted to touch base on Dr. Tim's uh, one and only product. It really does work. Very happy with the results. This tank's looking great. I think it's time for some more corals. We're taking our sweet ass time with this one. Um, we didn't get an algae bloom actually. We didn't get a big, I'm used to like a good sized diatom kind of outbreak. We didn't really get that this time. And I think it's time to do a new garden. Maybe you guys want to help us comment below. This shelf right here, I'm thinking acans right along here. But uh, comment below, give us some suggestions. What do you think would look good in that spot? And we'll start to slowly uh, build, build this tank out. And then I think the next upgrade or addition we're going to do to it is go ahead and add an apex and i can talk to you a little bit more about what an apex controller is from this awesome company neptune and why it's worth the money and why maybe you should consider adding one to your aquarium or your investment but anyways that's really it for today's video if you guys got any questions please feel free to hit us up i'm going to leave my email address at the end of the video like i always do if you have any questions related to this jbj 10 gallon nano reef saltwater reef tanks in general saltwater corals this is what we do here at Fragbox. We love talking about this stuff. You can always reach us. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Fragbox TV.